May the mighty force its will on the defenseless. Solidarity challenged ABSA Chief Executive Maria Ramos to confirm or deny rumours that large-scale retrenchments were on the cards of the bank. This comes after a very reliable source close to Ramos contacted Solidarity a few weeks ago, claiming that ABSA was planning to carry out large-scale retrenchments ordered by Barclays Bank. ABSA denied these rumours, but admitted that it was going through a restructuring process, a process that might affect some employees. According to ABSA's letters to the press and employees, these employees would, however, be given an opportunity to apply for positions elsewhere in the group. To our dismay, we found a hostile and cold-hearted attitude by the Barclays ABSA group towards the loyal staff members, some who have served the company for more than three decades. The first question we asked, has the culture changed? I definitely think that the culture has changed since UPSA was taken over by Barclays. It is as if you have to watch over your shoulder permanently. A culture of distrust. We were led to believe that everything is fine. Our jobs were secure, you don't have to worry about it. In January we received letters telling us to reapply for our positions. When I received the letter, I discussed it with my manager, who said I don't have to worry, and he reaffirmed that my job was secure. On the 10th, I was called in about 1 o'clock, not by my own manager, but by someone else, to say I was unsuccessful. 3 o'clock on the afternoon of the 9th of February, they told me that I've lost my job. It came as a shock. I immediately experienced the trauma of the situation. It was a quite bad experience. It was such a shock. My first reaction was, what went wrong? After all, I had many years of experience. I got a raise in salary and even received a performance bonus. I asked myself, what now? I was taken down to my desk to pack my stuff and I was then escorted out of the building like a criminal. At one of our premises, they've laid out boxes in the corridor, and the people were let into a small office. When you came out, you were given a box, told to walk to your table, and pack your personal belongings. They even help you, and then you march out of the office into the atrium. The atrium is a big square in the center of the building from which people on the various floors are able to watch who is the next to be marched out. They take your laptop and your employee card. I was treated like a hardened criminal. Deep inside, I felt hurt, gravely scandalized. I mean, how dare they treat anybody like that? I greeted some of the people on the floor. Those were still around because it was so embarrassing. A lot of them left. Others were there burst into tears. And really, it was very traumatic for myself and I think for everybody else around me. And then, at the end of the day, you just get axed. Solidarity seriously questions the way in which a foreign institution intervenes in the internal affairs of a highly profitable South African bank through a process that is foreign to the spirit of labor practices entrenched in the South African constitution, a process justified by subsidizing the mother company during these difficult economic times and aimed at enriching foreign shareholders at the cost of South African employees. Solidarity says, stop ABSA retrenchments. We ask you to help us. We want to send thousands of messages to the CEOs of Barclays and ABSA in which we request a three-year moratorium on retrenchments. Visit the web www.stopabsa.co.za to send a letter, tweet with hash stopabsa and SMS ABSA to 34388, SMS charged at 2 Rand. Please send the link to this video across the world. It is time to stand up in solidarity.